Now, a strange discovery in a recent NASA photo has some saying these visitors haven't just been observing Earth. Check out what we found on our next door neighbor, Mars. In March 2006, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter begins its mission of studying the atmosphere and terrain of the Red Planet. Since then, the orbiter has taken almost 7 million pictures of the Martian surface, but it wasn't until 2021 that somebody noticed this. It's a pair of long parallel lines with indentations that lead to what appears to be a half-buried disk. And take a closer look. See that perfectly shaped crescent edge? George Haas, director of the Cydonia Institute, explains what the buzz is all about. A South African researcher says he found what appeared to be the remains of a UFO crash. The object that he was looking at was between 12 and 15 meters in diameter. And it could be the remains of a flying disk that had crashed on the red planet. If it was a flying saucer, did it come from Mars or somewhere else in the galaxy? And if so, was it observing Mars because there was a civilization there? Haas says many believe ancient civilizations, including one called the Cydonians, once thrived on the red planet. There's been lots of evidence that there are pyramidal structures and all types of mound formations on the planet that do not look normal. One formation in particular, the famous Paratopia parrot that was taken uh, by NASA has over 22 points of anatomical correctness, which goes way beyond any natural formation. But Haas believes the Cydonians vanished from Mars millions of years ago after a war that led to nuclear Armageddon. So who could this ship belong to? For people that believe this UFO crash on Mars is a natural UFO, it may be connected to the greys that visit our planet. They've been visiting our planet for millennia and possibly visiting Mars also. Some believe that the gray aliens crashed at Roswell and they may have also lost control of one of their vehicles on Mars. Now, we know people have been seeing alleged signs of civilization on Mars ever since this famous face was discovered in a 1976 photograph taken by Viking One. Most of these images, including the face, were revealed to be natural geological formations once higher resolution images became available. But what about this? I mean, that clean, circular edge is pretty clear. Couldn't that really be the back edge of a flying saucer? Look at the outer edge. This would be the crash path right here. And it sure doesn't look natural. Let's find out what our experts think. We start with astrophotographer Andrew McCarthy. For billions of years, our solar system has been bombarded with objects. Could this be a meteor that streaked from out of the sky? Take a look at the moon. On the surface of the moon, there's a crater called Messier A. And what that is, is a shallow, meteor impact that came in at a very shallow angle and carved out elliptical shaped craters. This is how a normal asteroid crash would look if it comes in at a shallow angle. However, on this specific trail leading up to the object, you don't see much of that. This object itself is still intact. So then how can we explain the smooth crescent shape of the disk? There is speculation that it could potentially be the heat shield off of a probe that got ejected into the Martian surface. Since 1960, there have been around 50 attempts to send probes directly to Mars, but only about half have been successful. Is this disk the remnant of a failure? If you look at the trench this object crashed down, it looks pretty wide and deep. To me, that rules out any kind of heat shield crash because the heat shield from a probe wouldn't necessarily have enough energy to carve out such a trench. So if it's not man-made, could we be looking at the remains of an alien spaceship? For that answer, we turn to NASA geologist Bob Anderson. Anderson says the location of the formation is an important clue to solving the mystery. This area is called Candor Chasm, which is parallel to the Valles Meridaris. Valles Meridaris is the Grand Canyon of Mars. It's a huge rift, a crack that's seven miles down and would go the distance of Los Angeles to New York. Valles Marineris is covered by volcanic plains, a combination of sedimentary layers and volcanic lava flows. These long streaks that you see going across the surface here, those are common all over Mars. What looks like the trail of a crashed UFO is actually an ancient geologic crack in the surface of Mars. But if it's a natural crack, how did the object at the end of the trail get the perfect curve of a spaceship? 
And if you look really closely, you can see this one just happens to be perfectly arcuate here, most likely because the winds are coming over and then they're falling into the crack. And the only thing that's given everybody the idea that it's a spaceship is those dudes that are around the front that make it look like there's a circular disc. But McCarthy isn't convinced. To me, this object doesn't seem to have gotten here through natural processes. Its shape and the way it seemed to settle into the landscape is completely different than any other object we've seen on the Martian surface. But as to what this object is, I can only speculate. So it seems we have another split decision here. While Dr. Anderson's theory checks all the boxes, McCarthy's point that finding a naturally perfect curve does seem too good to be true. Our verdict, for now, until we can get a closer look and confirm what's there, we're gonna go with unexplained phenomenon. And if it is a crashed UFO, we'll be the first to let you know.